Did you hear that the National Atheist Convention is going to be in Des Moines? Yeah. There's another thing. And they're pu- and the, the only reason they're having it here is because the or at the hotel is because the hotels agreed to pull all the Bibles out of the room. See, here's here's the thing about that. Like, if you don't, if you believe God is fake, like that's like having a comic book in the in the in the drawer, is it not? Like, if it's a story to you, if it's if you think people are foolish for reading it and foolish for believing it, you could just as well put a Superman comic in that drawer, and they wouldn't say. Take yeah. all the Superman comics out of the drawer. Exactly. Like, and here's the thing. I could care less that they're taking it out. It's not like you're throwing God out. He's not contained by a drawer in a hotel room. What yeah. they don't know is we're going to be giving out Psalm 56 t-shirts. <laughs> I'm for I am name. totally in. You want to go? <laughs> <laughs> here, here, this is the thing that, that, that I find odd about that whole situation. Like, uh, And I tried to explain this, and maybe I didn't do a very good job. But, but like they spend, I spend my whole life promoting something that I believe in. They spend their existence promoting something that they don't believe in. You know, like, <laughs> like anti-promoting something that they don't... You know, it's like, it's a, it's like I, I, you know, I don't go out of my way to, to you know, like, like we were talking about, get on the atheist blog and say, blah, 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 blah. Or, yeah. or, you know, or write songs about how much I don't believe in atheism <laughs> or how much I think the whole thing is, is a, a crock. You know, yeah. like, like it's, it seems so odd to be so passionate about... What you don't believe. <laughs> well, I think that goes back to the reaction to, to the obnoxious believers out there that are yeah. getting under their skin and, you know, you know, telling them they're going to go to hell and everything. Well, I mean, honestly, they are. But, but you know, really, is that how you're going to win someone over? So, uh, you know, you don't believe how I believe, so therefore you're going to burn forever. And, right. And right. You know, it's like, well, I mean, at some point you got to present truth. But um, I think it can be done without a fist. A little more tastefully. You know, unless a fist is it. That's where you pray on it. Lord, do I need a fist him? <laughs> I'm ready. This will straighten it all out. Pumping iron. Well, but it's it, like I can, and this is going to come out wrong, but like I can kind of understand a guy that's like an agnostic, like a guy that's, you know, I don't believe it. I don't not believe it. I just, you know, I'm not concerned. Whatever. You do what you want to do. I'll do what I want to do. Like I can, that is a line of thinking of which al- still allows freedom to believe what you want. Um, but is you know, is not so spirited in, you know, you believe what I want or I'm going to stab you in the eye. You know, that's the, that's the point of having a God that sits on the judgment seat. You're not responsible. Keep it to yourself, buddy. You know, but, you know, it's, I don't know. But, but, but actually, that, that, uh, that convention, I, I was pretty excited about because it it's just, just somebody pray for it. Hey, when it, is it? Do you know? No, I don't know. But I tell you, I tell you what, I, what I was thinking, though. If I see one dummy out there with some kind of freaking protest sign or banners or music. From Wichita? Yeah. I, I'm kicking in some heads. Seriously. Like, because God's for you. God is for me. He's pro Ben. <laughs> Are you saying it's not right for someone to go down there and... and, and oh, it's this spring? What are, what are you protesting? I don't know. The man needs help. They need, they need Christ. Okay, well, okay, so what if he's down there with a sign that says, I'm praying for you? Is that cool? Okay, that's all like right. Like his level of protest? Yeah, he, I, here's what I don't see. I don't want to see uh, uh, burn in hell, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jesus loves you, but I, I can't stand your ugly face. Like, whatever it is that they decide they want to put <laughs> exactly. on something. Like... Th- that's what I'm saying is 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 the the thing with the with that type of protest right there is you're putting yourself in the judgment seat. The, the, I'm calling out if I know that you're an atheist and you're going to an atheist convention, okay? I know that you're separated from God. I'm more likely to weep, frankly, than protest and say you're an atheist forever and you're going to hell. Because you know what? As as long as I am breathing, as long as this world is spinning and Jesus has not come back for it yet, there's opportunity. I'd rather take this in a spiritual way, which is kind of what tends to work with people and with God. He works spiritually, yeah. rather than, than throwing things at him and yelling at him and calling him sinners and smelly, sneaky people. And, yeah. and it's like, Let's just, that's the spirit of God. Yeah, yeah wh- whatever. God's going to do what he wants to do. Yeah. It's the thought. You know, the, actually, maybe the other thing that, that irritates me is the guy who, who, again, puts it on himself. I'm going to influence this situation. Yeah, like you're looking right. at it from the wrong perspective. I'm going to make here. a difference. Right. I'm yeah. going to slay people for the Lord. <laughs> I mean, if someone's standing outside our church saying, "I hate your Jesus and I hope you die," you know, I'm probably not going to go talk to him out of like, "Wow, I'm really want to know what he has to say." Yeah, but he, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I mean, well, he, I see what you're saying because we talked about this at the Man Show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like that's the exact situation that David was in. You know, big old giganto Goliath is like, oh, "You Christians are blah blah blah, causing trouble, yelling, saying bad things, profane, whatever." You know, every morning I find that like, this is it. You yeah. know, and he goes out and, and settles the score. You know, I, like like we said, there's a, there's a, there's a time to there's a time to hit the mattress, and there's a time to you know take it easy. Yeah, you know. So I mean, I would be more than happy to have a conversation with with someone, 
you know, and just say, hey, here's, here's where I'm coming from. Where are you coming from? And, and as adults have a conversation where we're not like all emotional and trying to persuade anybody, yeah. but just rather, hey, this is this is. Where you stand up straighter and straighter as the thing goes on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Talk a little louder. I don't and, think you really, you know, in the back of your head, you're thinking, you know, uh, I'm right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there really is a God. And the thing is, we, we, we know we are right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what makes this conversation so easy. He's going to come in and go on. They're never going to convince me to believe in this God. What's wrong with you people? And Dan goes, you're never going to convince me to let God be. <laughs> exactly. So this ought to be fun. You know, that's one of the things we've, we've had. We've talked about starting like a, a midweek noonish campus here for the Des Moines area downtown where we kind of do the same scripture that we did on Sunday morning, kind of a, maybe a, 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 a toned down a little bit sermon of what, you know, and someone had mentioned, great point. Probably knowing the area down here, well, who we would attract is all the atheists coming up to, to, to make fun of us. Right. So I'm trying to get my my wrap my mind around that. Part of me says, well, that's kind of cool. Yes. If, if they'll sit down and engage in conversation and not just throw things and be stupid and wear yeah. you know I hate Jesus T-shirts, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. You know. It, um. But I want to know what we're getting into. I guess that's why I haven't moved forward personally with yeah we should just do this. I don't, you know, there's, there's no reason not to. Well, other than it, it, it what does be, God want? It almost be really interesting to talk to to talk to him anyway. You know, just because. I mean, if if you, I mean, if you've read the Bible, you know, and and you know, I, I give it to a lot of the atheists are 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 well learned in the Bible. You know, they read it and they say no, you know. But if you read the Bible cover to cover, I don't know how you can't say, yeah, this is for me. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. never ending grace, <laughs> uh, love constantly. You know, uh, loves me. This sucks. This is terrible. <laughs> I hate being loved. I just wanna, I just wanna go to hell. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, so so it'd be interesting to see exactly what. You know what turned them? What turned them about the whole thing? You know, because yeah, nine it's out of ten thing with a church. Nine out of ten, yeah. it's it's a it, it's it's a people. You know, like mm -hmm. this guy, you know, who represented Christ to me uh, was ridiculous. <laughs> you know, and yeah. they can't get past it. Yeah, I don't know. Agreed.